Hello guys and welcome back to our next lecture in our course on online personal branding. In this short lecture I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I think it's not used at uh, the proper capacity for building a, a personal brand. Most of the people who have businesses online or want to build their, themselves as a personal brand online use this specific tool just for selling different uh, products or offer or for promoting different affiliate offers or other people's uh, offer products or services. Now, uh, I am talking about webinars, the, tools, uh, the tool that I think it's uh, misused or not used at a proper capacity. Webinars can be very powerful and uh, from different specialists uh, in internet marketing, you will find out that webinars uh, mainly have two purposes, right? The first purpose is to sell, promote uh, or, um, or maybe connect an audience with a different product, service or offer. Okay, maybe when you are launching a product, okay, in a specific niche, you are launching a webinar for, the, for presenting that product. Okay, when you want to promote an affiliate offer, you are creating a webinar for your audience, okay, where you are explaining exactly how that product works and the benefits of it and so on. Okay, but very few people are actually using webinars to educate their audience and to offer them a huge value. In that way, by offering a huge value for webinars, okay, to your audience on a specific topic, uh, you, can, you can build yourself as an expert and as an authority in front of them. Now, let me give you an example. For example, right, you have an, uh, a blog, okay, and you are in the personal development niche. I think we have talked about this niche uh, before, but it's very popular right now. Right, and you want to talk about the law of attraction, okay? You want uh, people to perceive you as an expert in the law of attraction, right? What you can do, for example, you have an email list, okay? Maybe you have 1,000 people, 2,000 people in your email list. You can set up a free webinar for all of them, maybe two weeks or three weeks from now, right? In which you can talk uh, uh, about some problems, okay, that people identify uh, with the law of attraction, okay, or about some specific things that, that they might not know and you know, okay, about the law of attraction. In that way, when you create the webinar, okay, when you will be in the webinar with them, my suggestion for you would be to start exactly like this. I will not sell you anything in this webinar, okay, because that's the actual truth, but I wanted to talk to you guys about a thing that I've seen in our industry that a lot of people get confused with. And you can, and you can practically start to, to talk to them about that specific topic, okay. That can be very effective, why? Because People see you that see that you are generous, okay? That you are willingly that you are willingly give away uh, free free value, right? And they will perceive you as as an authority, why? Right? Because you know things that other people do not talk about in your niche, right? And will think that uh, and will see that you care about them, okay? One thing, maybe uh, maybe you do not know exactly what to talk about into a webinar, okay? You decide you want to do a webinar. Okay, but you do not know exactly uh, what topic to approach, okay, what subject to approach, what problem to approach. What you can do before the webinar or in the registration form of the webinar, okay, you can ask people what you want to, uh, what they want you to talk about. Okay, you just ask your audience which are the problems that they would like to hear about uh, a discussion into a webinar, right? And that's, the, and that's the thing that you will talk about. You give them exactly what they want right in that way you practically uh, you build even a, a bigger rapport with them why because they will hear the solutions okay or the discussion for the problems that they have okay and they want to hear about them right so webinars are a very powerful tool if you will uh, if you will uh, decide to use them now there are a couple of programs that you can use or software that you can use to create webinars it depends on the size of your audience okay uh, a free tool that you can use it's Google Hangouts. It's very powerful and uh, the advantage of Google Hangouts is that uh, it will be automatically uh, linked to your YouTube account. And for example, if you have a, a YouTube account, people will be able to see the replay of your webinar onto your YouTube account. And this advantage is that uh, you don't have uh, uh, as many options as other platforms. Another disadvantage would be that many times uh, you will have like a small delay, okay, on Google Hangouts. People will see your webinar with uh, a free five second delay, maybe even more sometimes, right? So when you have that uh, question and answer section at the end of your webinar, 
you may not be in a, in a real time with them, which can be actually a problem. Another disadvantage would be that uh, people, in order for people to be able to see that Google Hangouts live, on Google Hangouts they need to have a Google account. They can see it on YouTube, but they cannot comment, they cannot interact with you or whatsoever, right? So Google Hangouts is, a, is an option when you are starting out, if you do not have a big audience, if you do not want to invest money in a webinar platform, it can be a very good option. Another, uh, another option that uh, it's created around Google Hangouts, it's Webinar Jam, right? It's a very good software, we have more options for it, like a registration form and other stuff like that. You can check it out. Uh, we will have a resource uh, section at the end of this lecture where you can check out all these softwares, right? Uh, the best option right now, still in the marketplace, because maybe in the near future will appear other options too, I think it's GoToMeeting, right? It's pretty expensive, I mean you can get like up to $500 per month if, uh, if you are organizing very big webinars, but that's worth it only if you make like, if you have like a, a very, a very uh, big audience, okay, and you want to have like 1,000 attendees per webinar, okay, because you are limited to 1,000 per webinar. But it's definitely worth it if you have a big audience to do this for them, right? So go to go to meeting. It's still a very very good platform. Why? Because it works very fast. Uh, people can can follow you in a real time manner, right? But uh, also it has some disadvantages because people need to install like a plugin on, on their computer to work and other stuff like that. But uh, as a technical as technical uh, as a technical part, okay, probably is the best right now because people won't have many errors and other problems like that. So these are just three examples. Obviously there are even more examples that you can use. For example, uh, now in the past six months there are other platforms that appeared that are linked to Twitter. For example, there is Periscope where you can uh, organize like uh, live streaming. It's more like a TV show that you create okay, from your mobile phone. Then there is uh, Meerkat okay, also for mobile phones. Then there is Blab that's, it's, that it's also connected to Twitter uh, which is kind of like a discussion and webinar in the same in the same spot right so you have many tools that you can use but the main idea is to use this uh, as an in an educational purpose right okay to create these live events for people to to be able to know you better to relate to you as a human being better and to position yourself as an expert and as an authority for the value that you provide to them in a in a huge way okay in a bigger manner let's say so so I hope this lecture was very helpful for you guys. I thank you very much for your attention. Check out the resource page at the end of this lecture and I will see you in our next lecture. Bye bye for now. Sorry in here.